everyone hope you are doing well in this lecture we are going to talk about jack stat pathway so get ready for jack stat pathway animation first we'll discuss about the basics of jack stat pathway means the signaling molecule of jack stat pathway jack stat pathway receptor jack stat pathway roles and function and then we'll talk about the jack stat pathway animation so let's begin what is the receptor for jack stat pathway cytokine receptors Basically, the jack stat pathway works in the immune system cells, where the immune cells contain these cytokine receptors. And the signaling molecules are cytokines, you know, interleukins, like interleukin 6, for example, epidermal growth factor as an example. And the receptor will be epidermal growth factor receptor in case of EGF. The full form of jack stat, jack full form is Janus kinase, and stat is signal transducer and activators of transcription. The full form of stat. The cytoplasmic activator here is the Janus kinase, the cytoplasmic non-receptor tyrosine kinase type. And transcription factor here is the STAT, okay, full form, remember, signal transducer and activator of transcription. STAT can be activated by phosphorylation done by the Janus kinase or JAK. The example is that involving in immunoglobulin class switching in B cells following a response to interleukin 4, which phosphorylates STAT molecule number 6. The response is proliferation, differentiation, migration, apoptosis, and cell survival. Hematopoiesis, immune cell development, stem cell maintenance, organ and, and any other organismal growth and mammary gland development. All these responses are done due to the signaling of JAK-STAT and JAK-STAT signaling pathway. The diseases JAK-STAT signaling pathway is associated with is SCID, hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome, certain leukemia, okay and other kind of myeloproliferative disorders. The evolutionary conservedness of this jack stat pathway is really good. It's conserved throughout the evolution. So these are enough basics for the jack stat pathway. And you know the jack stat pathway ultimately can cause the cell to grow, proliferate and divide and also involved in the development of specific organs. Let's move to the jack stat pathway animation now. The process starts with the receptor and let's say in this case the receptor is cytokine receptor you can see the cytokine receptor has a signal binding domain and also cytosolic domain where jack can associate with it jack remains associated with it and it also has a tyrosine residue in the cytosolic site then cytokine mediated receptor dimerization is done cytokine is a signaling molecule and cytokine binds to this jack associated cytokine receptor and it dimerizes the cytokine receptor upon this dimerization there is the autophosphorylation event of the jack which is done and then the jack phosphorylates the tyrosine residues so this is self autophosphorylation and cross phosphorylation so you call it as a cross autophosphorylation after this step stat proteins which are present in the cytosol also carries a tyrosine residue somewhere there comes and bind to the phosphorylated tyrosine residue of the cytosolic site of the cytokine receptor so this binding is complete here once the binding is complete the stat recruitment is done then the jack start mediating the phosphorylation of the stat proteins so phosphorylation of the stat proteins are done upon phosphorylation of the stat proteins the stat proteins are dimerized so dimerized stat proteins will now go inside the nucleus the translocation will be done and then these stat proteins are going to interact to specific promoter region in the dna inside the nucleus known as stat binding sequences in the promoter so once this stat dimer which is phosphorylated now associated to the stat binding sequences in the promoter it triggers the transcription of cytokine response elements or cytokine response genes and that's how the cytokine's response is recorded inside the cell Imagine one thing that cytokines released all the different varieties of cytokines have this sort of cytokine receptors with this sort of signaling going on and in this case the important event players are cytokine as a signaling molecule, jack associated cytokine receptor as a receptor and stat dimer as a transcription factor. That concludes our understanding of jack stat pathway. I believe you have a clear idea about the JAKSTAT pathway. If you like this video on JAKSTAT pathway and JAKSTAT pathway animation, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.